Hello everyone, I am Ritesh Sohan, working as an assistant professor in computer science and engineering department at Lakshmi Institute of Technology, Sarigam, Valsar. In this session, we are going to learn Digistra algorithm from the subject data structure. So Digistra algorithm is a single source sort test path algorithm. Here single source means that only one source is given and we have to find the sort test path from the source to all the nodes. It is a greedy algorithm. It uses uh, a single source sort test path problem to solve a given problem. For example, I am in Surat right now. If I want to find the distance, shortest distance from Surat to Baroda, Surat to Ahmedabad, Surat to Valsar, then we can use this particular algorithm. Because the source is a same, that is Surat. We are only finding the source to destinations a shortest path. So it computes the shortest path from one particular source node to all other remaining nodes of the graph. In below figure, suppose the source vertex is a and if distance of i plus cost from i to j is less than distance of j then the distance of j is equal to distance of i plus cost of i and j let this uh, understand with the help of example suppose i want to find the distance from a to c so the cost from a to a is obviously zero This A represent I and the destination that is C represents J. I know the distance from A to C, it may be 2, it may be 5 plus 2 that is 7. Okay, right now I am considering A and uh, source node as a A and destination node as a C. So this is my I and this is my J. So if distance of I that is 0 here plus cost of ij what is the cost that is 2 if it is less than distance of j distance of j is right now infinity because we don't know the shortest path from a to c yes it is true that is 2 uh, distance of i that is 2 plus uh, sorry 0 plus 2 that is 2 is less than infinity condition is true then uh, what will be the answer then distance of j that is distance of c from a is equal to distance of i what is distance of i that is 0 plus cost of i to j that is 2 0 plus 2 is 2 then and then we can update the distance from a to c is 2 so instead of infinity what we have to write we simply have to write this 2 let us understand with the help of example Here the source vertex is A. It is given in examination also. If it is not given, then we have to select any one of the node as a source node. Right now the source node is A. We are taking the source node as A. So the distance from A to A is 0 obviously. And we don't know the distance from A to C. We don't know the distance from A to D. That's why what we have right here infinity. And this is visited vertex. Once we visit this particular vertex, we are not uh, visit that particular uh, vertex once again. Okay, so the distance from A to A is zero. If we are taking the source node as a B, then uh, first we have to start with the B node, and the distance from B to B is here. It is zero, and here it is infinity. Is it clear? So right now our so uh, source node is A. That's why the distance from A to A is zero. Now. In this row, who is minimum? Obviously, 0 is minimum. So, A is selected. Now, how many adjacent vertex are there from A? One is C, one is D, and one is B. So, according to that uh, previous formula, if, you, if I want to count the distance from A to C, we have to count by 0 plus 2 is 2. Similarly, from uh, shortest distance from A to D is 0 plus 5 is 5 and shortest distance from A to B is 0 plus 3 is 3. Okay, so what we have to do instead of infinity, 
what we have to write uh, distance from a to c we have to write here 2 we have to write here 5 and here 3 is it clear now a is visited from any other node a is not visited anymore okay we have to leave that particular node now e and f is infinity why because we are directly uh, the adjacent vertex is not reaching from a to e and e to a to f okay so here who is minimum whose values or whose uh, cost is minimum the node c so now the node c is selected okay so c is visited now who are the adjacent node of c first is d and second one is f i don't have to visit a because a is already visited okay so for distance from c to f is 2 plus 1 that is 3 and distance from d is 2 plus 2 that is 4 first the value of d is 5 here why i update the value of d because the minimum cost is 2 plus 2 that is 4 if it is minimum we have to update the value of d if it is not visited this particular d is not visited that's why i am updating the value uh, which is adjacent of c and which is lower than 5 that's why i am uh, writing it 2 plus 2 is 4 and the distance from c uh, c to f is 2 plus 1 it is 3 so this two value is updated okay so instead of d uh, instead of 5 what we have to write here now 4 we have the updated value which is lowest compared to previous one so here 4 will be there and in f instead of uh, what we are uh, what is the infinity what we have to update the value is 3 okay now c is visited we don't have to visit c again so 3 4 infinity and 3 in this row whose distance is minimum b also and f also you can select any one the answer remains the same okay i am selecting b as a minimum cost so now i check who is which node is adjacent to b first one is d and second one is e who is not visited a is already visited that's why i am not checking from b clear so from b to d is cost is updated or less 3 plus 1 is 4 it is equal to 4 i don't have to update this cost now there is a new uh, vertex that is e from b so 4 plus 3 is 7 so instead of infin infinity what we have to write 7 now who is minimum the node f cost is minimum similarly we check from node f who is non uh, non visited node adjacent to f only e now you can see here 3 plus 2 reaching from f to e 3 plus 2 is 5 which is minimum from 7 so we have to update because it is non not visited i cannot update the value of c because it is visited okay so 3 plus 2 is 5 what we do instead of 7 we have to write 5 and instead of 7 in next uh, iteration we have to write here 5 now 3 uh, this f is already visited now uh, we don't have to check the node f again now in 4 and 5 who is minimum 4 is minimum which refers to node d now from node d <clears throat> there are a is also adjacent b is also adjacent c is also adjacent as i tell uh, I, as i told you earlier that visited node cannot update their values so unvisited node is this one that is e so for, uh, from d to e what is the cost 4 plus 3 is 7 it is greater than 5 so we put the 5 as it is which comes from f okay so d is visited now only e remains so we select particular e also because there is no unvisited vertex uh, adjacent to e okay 
So this is how we can find the shortest path with the help of the Jistra algorithm. For example, if I ask the question or query uh, and asking the uh, to the Jistra algorithm that what is the shortest distance from A to F? It is three. A to F, you can see here, the shortest distance is three. Similarly, uh, what is the shortest distance to reach from A to E? It is five. You can check here A to E, that is five. Now, <clears throat> what if uh, anyone asks, you give us the shortest distance, but what is the path? How we can reach from A to E with the minimum cost five? Suppose we want to find the shortest path and shortest distance from node A to D, shortest distance we already give, uh, cover. Now, how to find the shortest path from A to D? Where is D? D is here. What is the cost? That is 4. Now we go upward and check for the greater value. Here it is greater value. Wherever if we find the greater value, we check the lower cost in that particular row. What is the lowest? Obviously 2. So C is selected. D to C. Similarly, from here we check the column upward. Okay, infinity is maximum compared to 2. Now I check in this row who is minimum, whose cost is minimum A. So D to C and we reach C to A. So what is the path A to C, C to D? You can check A to C and C to D. What is the minimum cost? It is 4. Instead of directly A to D, that is 5. So this is how we can... <coughs> We can find the shortest distance also and shortest path also with the help of the Jistra algorithm. I hope you understand the Jistra algorithm. Thank you.